Hi everyone, this is Kim, and welcome to the weekly readings from Expressions of the Universe. I'm sorry about last week. Um, I didn't have this personal video, and you'll read in my personal blog how the last two weeks I have been to the belly of hell and back. Yes, I have, in more ways than one. I don't know if any of you have experienced complete and utter breakdown of your physical body over the last week after that total solar eclipse and the sun in Pisces crossing Chiron. Um, if you were born between 1960 1969 your Chiron is probably in Pisces and it's a time where Chiron has returned to Pisces and a lot of us are healing a lot of things and if you haven't taken the time to do it your body after this total solar eclipse possibly could have completely shut down mine did I wound up getting bronchitis on the verge of pneumonia and um, I lost six pounds woohoo I didn't want to but I can't keep anything in me um, really good makeup is making me look like I don't have black eyes when I got out of the shower today I looked in the mirror and I looked like a dead person so it's really taking a lot of energy for me to do this but I wanted to be here for you this week uh, we do have um, next Sunday is the vernal equinox here in the northern hemisphere and it's the autumnal equinox in the southern hemisphere our friends down in Australia and I know I have a lot of them um, so let's get started I, I have some really interesting cards here this week and it's not even really I don't think it's about weekly energy this is going to be a long-term type of reading but with every card that I pulled looking for more clarification or like specific for this coming week they all pointed towards long term so anyway here we go the angel card that I pulled for this week is hope and let's see can you see that up in there and you can maybe read the affirmation and you can pause your screen but this hope card um, talks about everything that I went through last week when I lost my beloved cat and I didn't give up hope and after four days we did find her and but this is really it's also saying don't give up don't give up at this point you have got to continue to keep the faith know that the blessings that you've asked for are coming and this also wants you to call on your angels if you feel like you are about to give up hope that's when you call on your angels I did that and you know at the 11th hour my girl came home well sort of came home and I had to go after her I, I spotted her in the neighborhood um, but I didn't give up hope and every time I even came in to lay down for a little bit something inspired me to get up and get moving again so I think that's another reason why I got sick because I hadn't slept for three days I was out searching day and night for her and it was really cold and I think I wore myself out and my body crashed but I know I know that that total solar eclipse with the new moon and the Chiron and Pisces and everything I know that um, when it when we're in a healing time a huge healing time if you're resistant in any way meaning like you're too busy you're not slowing down you're not allowing yourself to do that healing work your body's going to shut down and do it for you and it could come out in the form of you know flu-like symptoms a cold something that's going to knock you on your ass and keep you in bed so that your body can process um, healing it's not even uncommon to um, get diarrhea and vomiting because your body is trying to purge itself of like even emotional toxins will come out in the form 
you know, of diarrhea. So I don't know if any of, I know it's disgusting. It's totally disgusting. But, you know, I've been to a lot of full moon ceremonies. I've been to shamanic healings. I've done a lot of healing work in my life over the decades. And it's, you know, back in the day when I had a lot of crap um, build up inside of me, I would get violently ill and I would be stuck in bed for days. I remember a Qigong healing um, knocked me on my ass for a week. And my nephew, I took him to a full moon ceremony. And it was funny, the shaman looked right at him and, and said, don't be surprised if you wind up in the bathroom this weekend. And he did. Um, okay, so enough disgustingness. But it's true. Um, drink plenty of fluids also when you're doing healing work because, you know, you got to kind constantly cleanse the body. So the crystal card that I picked came up again this week is Sodalite. It's the journey. I have my Sodalite here for you to see, and I am wearing my Sodalite bracelet with my hematite bracelet. Um, but, you know... I thought about this card a little bit more today and this journey because I wanted some clarification and I picked a different crystal from a different crystal deck and I got Menalite. I don't have a piece of Menalite, but what this is talking about is the journey inward and doing that work inward. So I know we're going through a huge healing time. Um, and this journey that we're on is really about ourselves. It's not a physical journey. It's this journey inward. And what it's saying is now is the time to bide your time and wait. You have to wait to reap the wisdom and to reap uh, the fruits that are going to be born from this waiting period. And if you uh, have watched my videos in the past, the mile marker card of the mystery kept coming up, and I expected that would be May and June. And so I think that that's part of the fruit that is going to be born at the end of this journey. I think this hope card is also saying not to give up hope. Um, you know, it could be a very quiet time for you. I do see celebrations ahead in the coming week. I mean, we do have St. Patty's Day, and we do have Easter coming up for those of you who celebrate. Um, for those of you who are, who are religious, I guess uh, the Easter weekend breaks um, your fast, and I think maybe Passover kind of coincides with that. Um, so there'll be a lot of, you know, spring celebrations um don't forget we do have the vernal equinox which is something that i celebrate and that is on sunday march 20th and i think maybe easter is on that same day i'm not really sure um but you know there will be celebrations all over the world for all different types of spiritual uh events okay so these are the three cards that I pulled, which were supposed to be for the beginning, the middle, and the end of the week, but they're all mile marker cards, and the mile marker cards are markers along your journey. So that's why I'm thinking that they are a prolonged um, premonition or um, message for you, and these are the markers that you're going to see along the way of your journey. And so we have partnership coming up and the partnership card talks about um, paying attention to harmonious connections that you'll be making during this journey and also paying attention to the connections that are not harmonious because you, you're going to be wanting to leave some of those go. Um, also, it's the coming together of two people to make something wonderful, and it's also opportunities. So you're being put on notice right now to pay attention and to look for these connections. The next mile marker that's coming up is truth. Um, I have a dog fight going on in the kitchen. And... 
the truth is not only about the what people are saying to you, but what are you saying back to them? You know, it's about keeping your integrity, speaking your truth, but also speaking truthfully. You have to know that even a small white lie also lowers your um, vibration because white lies or lies of any kind are from the ego and they do lower your vibration and they won't keep you on the right path. So you really want to pay attention to not only who's being truthful to you, but who you are being truthful to. And also, when people say things to you, this is what I'm getting, you want to stop and ask yourself if what they're saying to you is the truth, or um, is it something you just want to hear, and are they being honest with you? And then the final mile marker, I can't even talk, is joy. And this is about celebrations. And so, you know, I did pick this for the end of the week card. And I'm sorry, the video, the dogs are going nuts. Do you see the screen shaking? It, they're attacking each other around me. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but it is bringing me a lot of joy. But what this joy card is also reminding you along your journey is that it goes hand in hand with hope because... You never have to worry about anything because if you're cold, a blanket will be provided to you. If you're hungry, nourishment will be provided to you. Um, when you're in doubt, a sign of faith will be provided to you. And the best part of joy is being able to share that back with other people. When you have an abundant amount of joy, you can share that back with other people and make them joyous as well. And I wanted to pull one more final card because I like, I wanted something, you know, kind of zingy for the week, but I pulled from a different deck. It is uh, go the distance, but it's in the protection position. You'll see that it is reversed, but it's not reversed, meaning bad. It's a protection position. And going the distance means when you get down to your lowest point and you feel like you're in the desert and you've had enough, um, you just have to hold on to that, that glimmer of hope because this is a time of survival for you. The end is coming. Um, you will be reaping the rewards. But this is also a reminder to you uh, to only deal with what is absolutely important to you. Um, it's time to let all of the mundane bullcrap go. Anything that is taking up time and space in your life that is wasting energy for you doesn't really belong there. Um, so, you know, going the distance, go into survival mode, and, you know, you're going to come out fine on the end. Don't forget, we have that joy card coming, and we've got that mystery card coming. I think that's all I have for you this week. I will um, write a companion blog and fill you in a little bit on uh, my trip to the bellies of hell that I'm crawling back from. And it's good seeing all of you. I hope you have a wonderful week. Peace and blessings and love you. Bye.